Hi Virgo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your uh, January reading. Now, you've had your um, uh, first, sort of first of the 15th of January reading and I thought to myself, I thought, you know what, I'd actually like to do something a little bit different, um, sort of, you know, because I'm meant to be coming out with a year ahead reading for each of the signs and I thought you know I could do a predictive year ahead reading and I might still do that at some point I might do sort of I don't know something else along those lines but really what I wanted to do was put out for each of the signs a little bit of a treat so these are called this is the how-to series and you get to each sign gets two readings okay so for the first reading we're focusing on how can you make 2018 the best year and through this reading there'll be a running theme so there'll be something for you guys just a snippet of your lives that would be good for you to deal to sort of focus on that you can help to enhance your life now as we run through the reading it'll just probably give you a snippet of something that you should really be focusing on in 2019 so for example for gemini that has just been completed it was all about friendships and how in order to have the best possible life that you can have in 2018, one of the things that what the, uh, Gemini's could do was focusing on letting bygones be bygones and releasing friendships that no longer work for them, okay? Releasing people that don't work so that it helps to enhance the friendships that you already have and not being afraid to explore other friendships and other types of people and not being afraid to go out there in life and find your tribe find the people that mean the most to you and the people that you can work with and the people that are going to enhance your experience in 2018 and going forward so that was one of the things that we focused on the other reading is that we do for each of the signs is something called how to find true love so the other reading that you guys are going to get is not only the how to you know to feel your best to have the best life to experience the best life in 2018 for you um and the, it probably won't talk about every aspect of your life but it will be you know whatever comes out in the card should be important to the particular sign that it's being read for the love reading is focused for those of you who are either in relationships where you may feel, you know, this isn't for me or something's missing or something's not working out. And I'd really like to find a true love, a true relationship. And for some of you guys, the reading is focused for those of you who are single and looking for love and want love. And it's all about, well, you know, how do I find a, a really good relationship in 2018 and going forward from there that isn't the same as I've had before? So if you're using the universal weight cards for the main reading... We also, so this is what we're using for the main reading. I'm sorry if this camera seems to be, the camera seems to be going out of focus. Seems to be quite sensitive for some reason. Uh, and you've got advice cards. So you've got Getting Into the Vortex uh, by Esther and Jerry Hicks as advice card number one after the reading. Advice card number two is Healing with the Angels. And it, this is by Doreen Virtue. And your advice card number three will be the Archangel Power Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to put these to the side, these particular readings, uh, sorry, cards. And we're just going to sort of focus on the main reading. So how we do this, now every time I do a reading for a sign, or I focus on a new general reading, and one that will, because these readings will actually be on the, the website for people to purchase if they want to purchase this type of reading, takes about, on the other side it's taken about an hour to complete, I'm going to try and get it down a little bit shorter, but on the website it will be about an hour's worth of a reading. It's more of a guidance related advice reading. So I always, this is what I did on myself the other day. So I did my own one and it was so accurate. It was unbelievably accurate for me. And I thought, yeah, this is the layout that I'm going to do. This is, it's an 11 card reading. And I think I've got down the, the areas pat. It's a, a reading that I devised myself. It's based kind of on the, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, design of the, the Celtic uh, cross. Um, but there's there's one area that's 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 added to it. So we're going to start to shuffle, and I'll see. I'll show you what I mean. Universe spirit, how can Virgo experience their best lives in 2018? How can Virgo summon a rising signs? Pick this up. How can Virgo summon a rising signs experience their best lives in 2018? So over the next 12 months, how can Virgo experience their best life? In 2018, show me how Virgo, summon and rising signs. I'm just focusing on Virgo, summon and rising signs. Just show me Virgo, summon and rising signs. How can Virgo, summon and rising signs, show me in position one the foundation of their lives in 2018? That's stage one, please, universe. How show me how stage one is evolving into stage two? What they'll have experienced as a result of stage one. 
show me what their goals are in position three and as a result of those goals what their main focus will be on in 2018 in position four show me what Virgo's challenge will be in 2018 and how they overcome the in, in position five and how they overcome the position that challenge in position six will be which will be stage three of the reading Show me in stage four, and that's position seven, what they need to do next or work on to create uh, a more enhanced, happier life in 2018. Show me who Virgo will be in position eight in 2018. Show me what influences may come in for Virgo and what they'll need to deal with and tackle in position nine. What will Virgo's hopes and desires be in 2018 in position 10? And show me what your overall advice is for how Virgo... Virgo experiences its best life in 2018, show me. All right, so we shuffle the cards. We're going to split the deck into three, like so, one, two, three. And because I've shuffled, you know, in front of me, I have to turn the card around like that so you get to see the direction of the cards. I can look upside down at the cards because I can look at it through the, through the monitor, but through the monitor, you know, it has to face you, the cards do. So this is the foundation. So this is the heart of the matter, really with this uh, card here in position one, stage one. This is what's kicking everything off for you, really. This is how stage one is evolving into stage two. So what you'll have experienced as a result of the uh, foundation card. The third area looks at what your goals are for 2018. And as a result of those goals, where your focus is going to be overall in 2018 in position four. Position five, let's pull these up a little bit is what's challenging you in 2018 so the challenge to you living your best life and position six which is stage three of what you need to do to achieve your best life is how you overcome this challenge position seven so this is stage four is what you need to do what further work you guys need to do to start experiencing your best life creating your best life in 2018 this is who you guys will guys some of you guys will be in 2018, well, going on from 2019 into now. This is influences possibly coming in for some of you guys and what you'll need to do or how you'll be needing to deal with this. Uh, this will be your hopes or desires and uh, hopes or fears in 2018. And this is the overall advice card for what it is you need to do going forward to create your best life. Okay, so... With that, all that being said, what we're going to do, and we'll shuffle again on those cards if we need clarifier areas, okay? So, Virgo, in 2018, what's kicking everything off? What is in your past? What's in you? This is the foundation, but foundation can also be distant past. So, the distant past is what has been, what is intrinsic in where you are right now. So, what's constituting to the situation with where you are right now? It's about the world in the reverse. So, some of you guys have... Uh, unfinished business, I would say. In your foundation, it's all about unfinished business. Some of you guys haven't completed uh, an area, haven't completed a situation. Some of you guys, it might be education you haven't completed with the world in the reverse. Some of you guys, it might be that you um, are not feeling a sense of fulfillment, maybe in your work, maybe in the things that you're doing in life at the moment, going into 2018. And in your foundation, this is where the heart of the matter is. The heart of the matter is the world in the reverse. And it's a the world in the reverse represents a lack of knowledge, a lack of learning, and not learning lessons sometimes. And often this card means that this is a lack of closure. So in your foundation, the heart of the matter is some of you guys have a lack of closure on a situation in 2018. And around that, what are you experiencing as a result of this lack of closure? Well, the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So... I think that there is lack of completion here and as a result of that you guys in the recent past as a result of that have felt a sense of possibly uh edge of wands means to block it means also me it means to delay movement because in the upright the eight of wands when we do reversals we're looking at the opposite of what the card is in the upright and we're also looking at the absence you can look at when you do a reversal you you look at you can either look at what the opposite meaning is so what does it mean in the opposite? If this means movement, messages. If it means quick action, quick movement, messages coming in very fast, then the opposite of that would mean no messages in the reverse. The same as in the upright, we look at this is messages, growth, release, travel. 
uh, you know, uh, release traction, fastness, uh, fast movement with the eight of wands showing here. Lots of ideas uh, with the eight of wands, excitement, enthusiasm, space. But reverse, we look at, well, it's the absence of all of these energies. You've got the absence of messages. You've got the absence of action. You've got the absence of uh, being proactive, the absence of activity here. And I think that in the recent past, as a result of, for some reason, as a result of a situation in your foundation, uh, a lack of closure, non-completion with this world energy, um, in the reverse, in your foundation. So at the heart, the heart of the matter is, is that there is a lack of closure here with the world in the reverse. For some reason, it's impacting you guys um, in terms of, I think that some of you guys, you've, it's either that you've not heard something in the recent past, there's been blocked messages, and that might be why, because in your foundation, there's a lack of closure, and it could be, because this is how it should be impacting you, so if I had an eight of pentacles, for example, my own reading yesterday showed that in my foundation, it was all about work. And it showed that as a result of all the hard work I'd been putting in, I had been accumulating, gaining wealth, which is true, gaining stability, independence, which is true. So this is what you gain as a result of this area here. So your foundation, it's not all about, it's about a lack of completion, a lack of closure with the world in the reverse, about unfinished business. Some of you guys, it might be in your foundation that there's still a lot more that you need to achieve. But as a result of this, what you seem to have been gaining as a result, the second stage as a result of this is that for some reason, some of you guys, it's almost like you have the space to do something here, Virgo, but it's not happening because you have the eight of wands in the reverse. So it might be in your foundation that there is still something that is very much open, something that needs to be tackled in your foundation. There's a lack of closure, still open for business, is the world in the reverse, still unfinished business. It might be as a result of this, you found yourself waiting with the eight of wands in the reverse. Maybe there's been a delay in things happening here. Your goal for, and we'll probably need to get clarified on both these areas, your goals for 2018, Virgo, are... The lovers in the reverse. That's interesting. All reversals so far. So your goal is the lovers in the reverse. And I think for some of you guys, it is to leave and separate from what is no longer useful to you. Because the lovers in the reverse is to not be in love. When you're in the upright with the lovers, this is all about true love. It's about complete union, complete partnership, being so in love with what you have, who you're with, the job that you do, it's about having an appreciation, feeling that whatever it is you do is a part of you, it's your natural partner in life, whether it's the job that you do, whether it's the family that you have, whether it's your brother, your sister, your lover, whoever it is, lovers is all about love and unions. But in the reverse, and this is your goal, so your goal is the lovers in the reverse. So your goal, I feel, for 2018, Virgo, is not to do anything, is to separate yourself, is to detach yourself from what does not serve you from what you do not feel unified with from what you do not feel a natural um commitment or more of more i would say a symbiotic maybe um relationship with and what you don't feel remember the lovers is ruled by gemini the sign of the twins so the tw what are twins i'm a twin so i feel and with my twin sister i feel an absolute we're like two peas in a pod you can't separate me and my twin you can't our union and our bond, this is about a bond, me and my twin sister's bond is like that, there is nothing, no one on this earth, no one, no man, no, if I had a boyfriend, I used to have a boyfriend, but I got rid of him, because he was a bit of a weirdo, so, sorry, <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, is if I had somebody come into my life right now, and it was a choice between that man and my twin, I would choose my twin every time, you know, if, I, if, if that man wanted me to move to Australia and I wanted to, and my twin didn't want me to move, or she wouldn't do that anyway, she'd say go, you know. But if she really needed me here, I would choose to leave the man and stay with my twin sister. That's how strong my union and my partnership is with my twin. Because I, I just love her more than anything in life. I love her more than life itself. That's what the lovers is. It's a twinship, twin flame relationship, if you are in a romantic relationship. This isn't a romantic reading, though. It's something that you feel so joined to, so committed to, but on a very soul deep level. 
And this can be being in absolutely in love with the work that you do, feeling such a closeness and a tightness and an affinity with the work that you actually do. But in the reverse, the love is all about separation. It's all about one-sidedness. Okay, it's all about having one thing without the other. Okay, so your goals are the lovers in the reverse. And I feel that this is to separate yourselves from what is no longer loved in 2018. And as a result of that, Virgo, your focus will be on for 2018. The page of wands in the reverse. Freaking how they're all reversals so far. So how do you focus? Why is your focus on the page of wands in the reverse? So page of wands in the reverse is delayed news. It can be bad news. It's somebody who often breaks promises. It's not that your focus is on breaking promises, Virgo. But your focus, I get the impression with these cards that you're... This is more about... Um, I get the impression that for you guys in 2018, the way that you want it, because remember, this is about living your best life in 2018. I get the impression that a lot of this is about damage limitation. So your focus will be on the page of wands in the reverse. And this is not... God, I, I can hear so much feedback on this bloody um, microphone, and I hope you guys aren't... I don't know whether I should turn this down on here, because um, let me just... Okay, I've turned it down. Hopefully there's not a lot of feedback on the mic. Um, so your focus is the page of wands in the reverse. And I feel that this is more about, um, in the upright, the page of wands is all about taking a leap of faith. It's very similar to the fool. It's about going with your passions. The page of wands is, it's about going out there, exploring new ventures, exploring new creative ventures, because they're creative cards. It's the page of wands, any wand card. Um, this is about, uh, exploring territories and not being afraid to do that seeking some form of adventure some of you guys your focus will be on being more cautious because the page of wands in reverse is a very cautious dude so i think the focus for 2018 is being very cautious before you leap into anything page of wands in reverse is very similar to fall in the reverse they're both very cautious about what they do they like to look before they leap rather than leap before they look which is often page of wands and the full card. They like to just jump into life. In the upright, both dudes jump into life. They both just, you know, they're both just two people that trust. They just trust what they trust their feelings. So a page of wands and page of and uh, full card both go with their feelings. They say, yeah, let me take a look at this. This feels good. Yep, yeah, let's go and do it. Yep, yeah, no problem. But in the reverse, it's more they, they become a little bit more reticent, a little bit more fearful, a little bit more, let me be a bit more cautious about this. And I think that your focus for 2018, in order to achieve your best life, it's about, with this page of wands in the reverse, being more cautious, looking before you leap, possibly even maturing and growing up a little bit for some of you guys, taking things a little bit more seriously. Because your challenge in 2018 is the knight of swords and it's funny because the knight of swords is about going for something just like that knight of swords is about confidence and it's funny because this is what the page of wands page of wands isn't as aggressive because the knight of swords often aggressively pursues his um aggressively pursues his goal he's not afraid he just goes for it and he says you know what this looks damn fine and i'm gonna go for it so he will this the, the momentum there's a certain momentum that this guy has so the knight of swords your challenge is that you go in 2018 is that maybe with this knight of swords you like to go very fast and very hard on stuff virgo so you'd like to rush into things that you feel very passionately about with this knight of swords that's your challenge but how you overcome that challenge and sometimes the knight of swords can do that without thinking but how you overcome that challenge Oh my God, it's by the Knight of Wands. How do we differentiate both cards? Because they're both the same. They're both the same. Now this is an interesting reading indeed. Very interesting, because this area here is your challenge. But this is how you overcome it. So they're two raging knights. They're very similar as Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords. Thanks for that, universe. Very similar indeed. Your challenge is that... So this must be something to do with the elements. The two furthest... Uh, the two furthest... What's the word that I'm looking for? The two furthest suits away from the earth are swords and wands. They tend to shoot up. So they're, they're air and fire energies. And they're, they're further furthest away. So you don't... You don't plant 
air and you don't plant earth. So there are more about how things are driving forward. But you can water the earth with water, a cup. And you can plant a seed with, uh, with a pentacle. So they're closest to the center of the earth. And these, the, the, air, the, the swords and the, and the ones are furthest away. So your challenge is, I feel, it, this has to be something mental. And it might be that with the Knight of Swords energy, this is something to do with your challenge is more about possibly communicating. You might communicate without thinking, perhaps, with this Knight of Swords energy. Because the Knight of Swords is all about communication. And this is your challenge. I don't think it's a person. I think that this is you. But I think it's something that you do, Virgo. You seem to... For some of you guys, it might be that you're communicating or you're going for things without thinking. And it might be how you overcome with that. How you overcome that is by looking at how you feel rather than what you think. Because here you're not doing anything. Your, your goal is not to do what you don't love anymore. To detach yourself from what no longer brings you love, spiritual happiness spiritual abundance because the lovers can be a spiritual card as much as temperance or the moon or um the hierophant or the high priestess or any one of those cards so this is your goal is to detach yourself from what is no longer serving you the lovers what you don't feel a natural affinity or bond to because and as a result of that the focus is on being far more, I would say, cautious with this page of wands. Because I think that your challenge is that you, some of you Virgos, you tend to take an idea and rush forward with it. Because it feels like you should. You've thought about something with the Knights of Swords and you said, yep, the idea-wise this feels right. So I should rush along with this idea. But I think that... This being your challenge, that maybe some of you guys are always rushing through with ideas. You're always looking to pursue something, pursue a thought, or pursue an idea, or pursue maybe communication, something like that. I think that this being your challenge, you're saying, well, how do you overcome that? Overcome that? Well, why don't you go with what you feel? Don't just look at the object. Because the swords are all about what we see. They're not about feelings, because they're a sterile card. They're air. They're to do with your thoughts, your ideas, communication and struggles. For some of you guys, it might be your challenge is drama. And the best way to get over that challenge is by leaving it with the Knight of Wands. So it could be something like that. Because the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords is drama. So it might be your challenge is drama. And the best way to overcome that challenge of drama is to leave it. Knight of Wands means to leave and this can mean drama. So drama is a key word. Knight of Swords and leaving is a key word for the Knight of Wands. So that could be it for some of you guys. For some of you guys, it might be that you pursue. You're too quick to act in terms of an idea with the Knight of Swords. But the best way to avert this challenge is to feel. Pursue things that make you feel happy. Because the Knight of Wands is all about pursuing things that make you feel happy and make you feel joyous. Don't just pursue an idea because it feels like the right thing to do or because the object looks good. It might be that this being your challenge here, how you overcome it is pursue things that make you feel good rather than look good maybe with this Knight of Swords. Or it could be that your challenge is something to do with drama with the Knight of Swords in which how you overcome that drama is simply by leaving it with the Knight of Wands energy. We'll see. We'll probably get clarifiers on those areas. So that's the third stage, how you overcome this challenge. Whatever that challenge is for you. Challenge can be Knight of Swords, be drama though. Could be a person. Virgo, could be a Gemini, for example. Maybe for some of you guys. I don't want to turn this into love because it's not a love reading. Got a love reading coming up. Coming in, the fourth stage in how you achieve your best year in 2018 is the Queen of Wands. So this is all about taking action, being fearless, self-belief. So how do you achieve your best year with the Queen of Wands? Well, it's going out there and it's doing it. And it's being fearless. And it's having an element of self-belief and confidence within yourself with this Queen of Wands energy. Because you guys in 2018 are the Three of Wands. So you're looking to the future. You're looking to launch things. I don't think that you're waiting. It could be that you're waiting, though. 
because in your foundation we've got the world in the reverse there's unfinished business here I think that you're waiting three of wands three of wands can either be that you're launching or you're waiting for something to come back to you and I feel that Virgo you guys are waiting with that three of wands where is the hand it's to the right so one hand on the future I think that you're waiting for something that you feel is going to complete your future here because I think that in your foundation guys in the past you've had unfinished business and I feel around that things have not been concluded because it's there's been delays around it's either messages or communication haven't been coming through so something's not been fulfilled in these two areas there's a lack of completion of something that could have com should have completed itself and I feel that the three of one says to me that you guys seem to have been waiting you've been waiting a long time for something to happen and there's a lack of completion around this thing because you're not getting the news that you're waiting for with the eight of wands in the reverse your goal is to leave what no longer serves you, the lovers. It is to separate yourself from the very thing that doesn't make you feel whole in 2018. And as a result of that, the page of ones and reverse, your focus for 2018 will not be about pursuing things that don't make you feel complete. Because your challenge is always going for the thing that looks right, that looks perfect because that's what the knight of swords would do but in order to achieve your best year the best thing to do is to go with the thing that brings you joy and brings you happiness with this knight of wands the thing that makes you feel enthused if you look at the knight of swords he's a highly competitive character within the tarot so this person the knight of swords would always be in competition with others He'll always want the best thing because he feels, oh, well, if I have that, then I'll be better than this. And I'm not saying that this is you, but I just get the impression that your challenge, Virgo, is that you always, some of you guys are always going for the thing that you feel looks right. But really, how you overcome that is by going for with the Knight of Wands, the thing that makes you feel right. Hence, your goals being not to, to separate your things from things that, from, separate yourself from things that don't make you feel whole. The next stage of building a better life for yourselves, the best life that you can in 2018, is about being assertive with this Queen of Wands energy, knowing what your own self-value is, working hard to attract in the very things that you want, not seeing, because you're waiting here on something that's not coming. This could be work. Because you want to free yourself, love is in the reverse, from something that doesn't make you feel whole at the moment. Therefore, the focus is on, to, during 2018, I'm not pursuing anything that doesn't make me feel whole with the page of wands in the reverse. Because my challenge is I'm always going for the thing that I feel in my head is going to make me into something amazing. And how, th But this probably always gets you into trouble. This Knight of Swords is probably always getting you guys into trouble. So the best thing to do to overcome that challenge is really to pursue a different direction, maybe with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands can mean a different direction. So it could be, well, choose a different direction with the Knight of Wands or choose something that you actually do feel makes you feel passionate. Knight of Wands energy. Joyful, enthusiastic Knight of Wands energy. That's the third stage of how you're going to achieve your best dreams. You need to change up why you do things in 2018. Coming in the Queen of Wands, fourth stage of how you're going to achieve your best year. Be assertive, be confident, know who you are. Don't be afraid to assert yourself, Queen of Wands energy. Because what you'll experience coming in is the Four of Swords in the reverse, a sense of restlessness. So you have to make things happen here, Virgo, with this Queen of Wands energy. Because what you'll have coming in is the Four of Swords in the reverse. There is no time to sit on your laurels with this card. No time at all. Some of you guys have waited around far too long. You've been waiting here. And that's because in your foundation there's unfinished business. But around that unfinished business nothing is happening. Nothing is coming through. Eight of Wands in the reverse. It's almost like you guys have been waiting for something to happen because you want to leave something. And it's almost like your challenge is with this Knight of Swords. You went for this thing because you thought it looked good. But there's a lesson in this that if you want to create a better life for yourself in 2018, you need to either change tact, change direction with that Knight of Wands, 
choose another uh, direction to move in or simply go for what makes you feel good whether it's less if this is a job whether it's less money whether it's something that other people don't approve of choose what makes you feel good with the knight of wands what makes you feel passionate rather than what makes you feel like it's going to do something for you it's going to make you look a certain way with other people approve of it your hopes or fears well your hopes are to drop two of coins in the reverse some of you guys the hopes will be to drop lots of responsibilities because the two of coins in the reverse is being weighed down by responsibilities whether this is money and you can see that it's huge because the two pentacles here are bigger than the man's hands so he's carrying huge weights so your hopes would be to sacrifice or drop some form of a responsibility the outcome for how you achieve your best life in 2018 virgo ace of cups your heart needs to be in something here you need to be passionate and driven by whatever it is that you do in 2018 because the ace of cups is all about being in love and having an open heart so how do you achieve your best life it's about being emotionally receptive and open to new ideals to new directions to new paths with the ace of cups you have to be receptive and emotionally recept emotionally receptive and emotionally open it's not about the money it's not about the prestige knight of swords tends to attack things because he feels that there's going to be some form of prestige with it he's a competitive knight he wants to get to the finish line before anybody else does the knight of wands is not that type of character yes he is in pursuit but he's in pursuit of fun and he's in pursuit of joy and you know excitement and anything that's going to make him feel good in that realm whereas this guy here is more in pursuit of getting to the finishing line before anybody else does he's on a course swords are very different to they're both sort of airborne in a way because neither of them are so close to it you can't bury fire and you can't bury air but you can bury water and you can bury a coin so coins and water are closest to the earth you can plant those things and you can bury them but these two will always go upwards or fizzle out so this is really about your energy i feel that you i think your challenge with the knight of swords is the energy your challenge is going for things in a very brash um it's not that this card isn't about being unfocused in the reverse the absence of focus can be Knight of Swords in the reverse. It's not reverse, but this is the way that you go about things for some of you Virgos. And I think that the energy as well, how you avoid that or how you overcome the challenge of the Knight of Swords, possibly for some of you guys' competitiveness, possibly for some of you guys wanting to get to the finish line or wanting what other people or wanting to have something that you feel is going to assert. You've, maybe your challenge is some of you guys are a little bit too overly assertive assertive and maybe this gets you into trouble here but how you overcome this is by going with instead of going with ideas go with passion go with how you feel on something don't go with just with what you see maybe with this nice swords energy but go with what makes you feel good let's get some clarifiers it was an interesting reading but we don't know really what this is about so um i want to see why virgo is the three of wands why is virgo the three of wands in 2018 ten of swords well the ten of swords is all about recovery okay so i feel that you are um three of wands is all about waiting and i did feel that this was waiting um I don't think that this was launching i got the impression that this was waiting because in your foundation it's all about unfinished business with the world energy and if you've got unfinished business it might be some of you guys are looking to launch something because there's been unfinished business it might actually be that actually let's cut that you're waiting let's say that you're looking to launch new things you're looking to, i think that you're actually with this three of ones looking to broaden your horizons okay and i think that this is because some of you guys with this ten of swords energy you have given up and you have released 
I would say, with this Ten of Swords. Possibly a very disappointing situation with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So, And it's looking past the Ten of Swords now. So I feel that you are now launching. You're broadening. A, in 2018, I think that Virgo is broadening his its horizons. Because you have finally released something that may have been holding you back. It might have been suppressing you with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Because in your foundation, you've got the world in the reverse. And why is the world reversed in Virgo's foundation? Why is the world reversed in Virgo's foundation? Three of Swords in the reverse. The world in the reverse is about, uh, as I've said, unfinished business, uh, things still being open, non-resolution. For some reason, I feel that the non-resolution of a situation has helped you guys to start healing. And it's funny that this card is reversed. I always see the world in the reverse as non-resolution of a situation. Any cards like death, world in the reverse, this sometimes can be that somebody reopens something. So it might be with the world in the reverse. Somebody in your life came back in and reopened a situation that had once been closed in order to bring closure, in order to bring healing. I'm feeling here that in your foundation, the reason that everything is happening, I get the impression, Virgo, that you here as the Three of Wands can finally look to the, uh, look to the future with this Three of Wands energy because there has been closure. Ten of Swords in the reverse is now closure. I think you're looking to the future because there's been closure on a situation here, Virgo. And that's because in your foundation, I feel that somebody came back and reopened old wounds but those reopening of old wounds allowed it to heal again so it became closed up again pretty quickly it's almost like somebody reoperated on the situation it's almost like you and someone else it could be family it could be anything in world in in the workplace whatever it is you want to call it not necessarily love because we're doing love in the other reading but i feel there was the readdressing of an issue here that has finally now been closed down and healed. I think that something was readdressed and healed here. Which is why you guys are now able to broaden your horizons. Because there has been finally the closure and the finality and the ending and the putting to bed of this situation with the Ten of Swords. However, as a result of this, you have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. And let's have a look at why the Eight of Wands is reversed. Six of Cups. Well, I'm seeing as a result of this, you guys aren't communicating with a loved one. Okay, so I'm seeing in the recent past as a result of whatever this is, Virgo. I think that there was finally uh, a re something that was reopened in order to close it again, if that makes any sense. Because the Three of Swords in the reverse is about healing. So the world in the reverse can be where we reopen the investigation. Death in the reverse can, again, be somebody who comes back in, you know. Eight of Cups in the reverse can be somebody who comes back in. Whatever the situation, something was reopened here with the world in order to cleanse it. I'm seeing cleansing that has happened here. Something was forgotten, but it was opened again, and it was cleansed. And as a result of that, you guys have been able to look to the future because you've put something to bed with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. As a result of these energies, though, I'm seeing there's no communication anymore with an individual for some of you guys. Could have been with a close friend, Six of Cups. I'm seeing there's no more communication with an individual. And I think as a result of that, your goal now is the lovers in the reverse in 2018. And why is Virgo's goal the lovers in the reverse? I think it's to sever ties with a person who uh, did not have your best interest at heart. Because you've got the lovers in the reverse. So your goal is now to sever ties with a King of Pentacles in the reverse, Virgo. And I don't think this, this is you. I think that this is uh, an individual. could be a fellow Earth sign individual. Um, or it, could, it doesn't have to be an Earth sign. But this is somebody who was possibly quite self-serving. I think that there has been forgiveness, though, in these two areas. So I think that in 2017, you guys forgave someone. You came together and finally you forgave an individual. You opened up old wounds but this was in order to clean everything out with the world in the reverse there was something that was still left over that needed cleansing and i'm seeing that he's been cleaned out with this three of swords in the reverse and as a result of that there's no more communication with this person 
because your goal is to separate yourself the lovers in the reverse from someone who you don't really feel had your best interests at heart king of pentacles in the reverse for some of you guys it might be to sever ties with a money man or somebody who doesn't you know it's not love it's somebody who you know some of you guys might not be responding to somebody's request as a result of this energy. So some of you guys, I'm seeing that there has been the reopening in the past of an investigation that has now been cleaned up, the Three of Swords in reverse. And it might be as a result of that you guys are no longer communicating with somebody who wants to communicate with you, Six of Cups, in the upright. Or you're not communicating with somebody who's been proposing something to you with a friend or in a close relationship because your goal is to sever ties with somebody i feel because the king is reversed it's either somebody who's been trying to be, be trying to who has been trying to take things from you maybe material financial or this is simply somebody that you don't trust as a result of that the energies for 2018 for you guys will be the page of wands in the reverse and let's have a look why that is well i think that you're more cautious so the energies for you guys, what you'll be focusing on in 2018 is being far more, being far more um, self-aware, I feel, with this page of Wands Reverse, because I think that you guys are very suspicious and very cautious of whatever it is that's happened here. You have made your peace, I feel, Virgo, with an individual, or it could be somebody that you worked with, it could be a friend, it could be anyone, but I think you've made your peace. But it's almost like for you guys, I feel in 2018, the way that you're going to be living your life is once bitten, twice shy, from what I can see in the reading. Because even though I see you guys making peace in these areas here, I don't see you guys communicating or contacting either a very close friend or contacting or responding with this eight of wands in the reverse to somebody who's asking for something from you because your goal is the lovers in the reverse to sever ties with someone who either tried to take something from you or somebody who's only got their own you know their own um needs at hand and not yours which is why your focus around 2018 in terms of enhancing your life is to stay away page in the reverse page of wands in reverse is to not pursue Tempting offers is to not pursue, not even to communicate, page of wands in the reverse, not even to reach out to whoever this individual or whatever this situation is, because I think that you guys are pretty suspicious here. Your challenge is the Knight of Swords, and let's have a look at why your challenge is the Knight of Swords. I think that your challenge in 2018 is... Uh, rushing back into a situation with that Knight of Swords or communicating with this individual or situation here, rushing in, communication with somebody who possibly walked away from you with the Eight of Cups showing here or somebody who turned their back on you. It could also be your challenge will be rushing in to a situation in which you have emotionally disconnected from eight of cups and that's not such a bad thing that's not such a bad thing but how you overcome that challenge because i don't see this challenge as being a bad thing at all the way that you overcome that challenge is the knight of wands energy i can see why the knight of wands energy well the way that you overcome this is that by taking a new direction i feel is going to bring you guys justice the type of settlement and acceptance and the um balance that you need with the justice energy showing here so let's go back to the reading just from us because we'll go we'll go through all of the cards again it's a pretty complicated reading really to look at but uh, this is how you achieve your best in your best life in 2018. I do feel that you guys have been looking to explore or uh, to um, uh, what's the word to uh, to broaden your horizons uh, because you've let a situation go with the Ten of Swords. You're finished with a situation here. You've healed. So this is all about looking to the future. Some of you guys might even be looking to heal from a situation. If we were to read the keywords, because you're looking to the future here. So you might be looking to heal from a situation. So I think that you guys in 2018 will be looking to heal from a situation here. Because the Ten of Swords is all about healing and recovery. So you're looking to recover from a situation. 
Because in the foundation, I feel that either an investigation or something that had been closed down has been reopened. So in your foundation, this is all about something that was reopened in order to reheal it, in order to clean it up, to cleanse it. So I'm seeing cleansing of a situation here in your foundation. But I feel as a result of this cleansing here, something that was reopened in your life, Virgo, you guys no longer pursue or you're no longer in contact with whoever this individual is. It might be that somebody asks something off you. You've completely kind of forgiven. You've shaken hands on a situation here. But as a result of that, you guys are no longer responding to what somebody wants from you any longer. So to me, you look like you're cutting somebody out here. Because your goal is to sever ties, the, full, the lovers in the reverse, to separate from an individual, a king of pentacles in the reverse, either somebody who took advantage of you, somebody who wanted to take maybe resources, money from you. It could also be somebody who only had their in best intentions at heart and not yours. And I feel that the focus will be in 2018 is for you guys, how you're going to live your best life in 2018 is by not pursuing directions that you are very cautious of. So this is all about once bitten, twice shy. Paying attention to the um, to the to the warning signs, and I think that how you live your best life is by t paying attention to whatever the warning signs are telling you. Because I think that even though you guys seem to have forgiven an individual Virgo on this reading, I feel that what's happened is that even though you've forgiven, you've not forgotten. From what I can see in the reading here. Your goals being that you wish to sever ties, lovers in the reverse, separate from a king of pentacles in the reverse, whoever that individual is. The fact that some of you guys aren't responding perhaps to somebody's request. This must be this king of pentacles request. You're not responding. I feel eight of wands in the reverse to this person's request. Six of cups can be a request. Because your goal is to sever ties, to separate. For some of you guys, it might be even to divorce lovers in the reverse from a king of pentacles reverse somebody that you clearly don't trust and as a result of that your energies will be in 2018 not to pursue someone that you are clearly very cautious and suspicious of so i think that how you're living your best life is by using your head rather than your heart in 2018 virgo because your challenge is not rushing back in knight of swords to a situation that you've left you can see that they're in different directions. This is you not, your challenge is not rushing in. Or your challenge is rushing into situations that you leave. So let's turn that around. I think that your challenge is, is that some of you guys are easily tempted back into situations that you've already left. That is your challenge. And that's it. this is what you're trying to stay away from in the reading, Virgo. This is what you're trying to stay away from. Somebody here, you've forgiven, Virgo. You've forgiven someone. You've wiped the slate clean. But you haven't forgotten what they did. That's why you don't respond to their request. Because you want to sever ties. This is your goal. Sever ties, separate, divorce even. A king of pentacles in the reverse. Whoever that person is to you. And your focus for 2018 is not to venture forth with anyone you don't trust. Nine of wands in the upright is trust issues often. But it's around a person or a situation because your challenge is that you tend to probably rush back into situations that you've already left. Or you might rush back, you might heed the call, Knight of Swords, to people who tend to let you down or leave you. And it's not that you're becoming hardened, Virgo, in 2018. It's just that you're saying, you know what, actually things have to change. I forgive, I, I forgive, and that's good. You forgive. You say, you know what? No bad blood. No, it's okay. It's fine. But I can't forget whatever this situation is. I can't forget what this person did, whatever the situation is. And I can't forget. I can't forget, but I can forgive. I'm pretty sure you guys have forgiven. I'm pretty sure that somebody may have asked you for forgiveness. You forgave, but you won't forget. And you're not willing to go back there again. As much as your challenge is that you could... You might be wanting your challenges rushing back to people who leave or rushing back into situations that you tend to leave. The way that you overcome that challenge, Virgo, is by moving in another direction, Knight of Wands. Moving in a new direction will bring you justice or will bring you the happiness and the balance that you need. Because coming in, this is stage four. This is what you need to create 
the best life in 2018 is by moving in a new direction. It's going to bring you the justice. Knight of Wands, move another direction will bring justice rewards. This is the first this is the third stage of how you're going to create. So this is about leaving things from the past behind. Forgive, yes. Always forgive. It's better to forgive people that do stuff shit to you. And even sometimes to forget. But when something's done, it's done. Because the fourth stage for how you create a better life for yourself in 2018, Virgo, is the Queen of Wands energy. You guys need to be aware, I feel, with this Queen of Wands energy, that whoever this person is, that you have decided with the Eight of Wands not to respond to their call or not to respond to their offer, I feel that the fourth stage to creating a better life is to be very self-aware. Queen of Wands is very self-aware. She's highly intuitive. So there you go. This is about being very self-aware that this person could change again. They could become that Knight of Cups in the reverse. So creating the best life for yourself in 2018 is by paying attention to your intuition that this person could falter again, Knight of Cups in the reverse. This person could break a promise to you again because your challenge is you might want to rush back into something that you let go of or you might want to rush back into somebody who let go of you because here this person has asked something of you but you're not responding to it. But you are challenged by, but yeah, I could go back one last time. I could go back. I could turn around to something that I left. But the universe is saying second stage, third stage, sorry. Third stage of creating the better life is by leaving Knight of Wands, choosing a new direction, because this is going to bring you the balance that you need. Fourth stage is be aware, because this challenge is still very much on you. You could still return to something that was no good for you in the beginning, Virgo. But the fourth stage of creating a better life is to be self-aware with that Queen of Wands. That whoever it is that is asking something off you in 2018 could easily turn around and shit on you again, Knight of Cups in the reverse. They could easily turn around and break a promise, Knight of Cups in the reverse. So just be aware of who this person... You're already aware and you're already there. You're already there, Virgo. You really are. But some of you guys could trip up a little bit in 2018 on this situation. Coming in, you will experience, and you'll have to face the Four of Swords in the reverse. And let's see what this Four of Swords in the reverse is. See, this is what will happen. Whatever this situation is, whether it's with co-workers, friends, it's not necessarily a love reading could be for some of you guys a marriage a boyfriend a girlfriend whatever it is but we've got a proper love reading how to find true love coming in but this smacks of someone that's done something to you that you've forgiven but you're not willing to forget it but there's always that little bit of you could go back and it's saying look the fourth stage of how you're going to achieve the best love for you is to be very self-aware that this person could break a promise to you again you already done ignored the person here you're not willing to respond to somebody's request In the stage two. So here we go. Stage one, there's forgiveness. But stage two, so stage one of how you create a better life is that there is forgiveness. Stage two, as a result of that, is that as a result of forgiveness, this is about closing the door. Because you guys aren't responding to somebody who's requesting something from you. Because your goal is to sever ties with whoever this person is. This is the King of Pentacles who's requesting something from you, Virgo. Because the energy around you and your focus will be on, uh-uh, I'm not pursuing anything that I don't trust anymore. That puts me on edge. Because my challenge is I'm always returning to people who turn their back on me or I'm always returning to the very thing that I walk away from. But how can I create my best life in 2018? How do I get over this? Well, Virgo, it's about Knight of Wands. Turn in the other direction, because if you move in another direction, Virgo, this is how you will have your justice and start creating the life that you want. But in stage four, be very aware. It's calling you back again, Virgo. It's saying, be self-aware, Virgo, Queen of Wands. Then if you do go back, because you've still got that little hint of shit on you saying, I could go back though, couldn't I? 
but he's saying be very self-aware in, in in stage four that if you do go back with the page of wands that your attraction page of wands queen of wands energy that if you are attracted to going back to whoever this individual is or the, what the situation is it won't be fulfilling knight of cups in the reverse you will be going back and you will be very attracted to somebody who cannot keep a promise and therefore what you'll experience is restlessness why is that when this person cuts themselves off from you again page of cups in the reverse because your fears are or hopes are two of coins in the reverse and let's see why your hopes are the two of coins in the reverse hierophant i think that your hopes are this two of coins is to drop so two of coins is having too many responsibilities that you need to drop here some of you guys the hopes will be to drop something that has been that you have been involved in for a long time it might be to change the way that you see and think things a certain ideology or belief the outcome for how you create a better life for yourself Virgo in 2018 is the ace of cups and let's see what the ace of cups shows with giving your time your love opening your heart to whatever this situation is needs to be avoided i feel with this seven of swords seven of swords is avoidance or it's deception because the this is the advice card it's saying how do you create the better life for yourself in 2018 opening your heart to an individual or a situation needs to be avoided with the seven of swords because it will bring struggles can you see how it needs to avoid both cards between these two cards there is avoidance the guy is running off from the Ten of Wands and he's also running off from the Ace of Cups. So the outcome for me is saying, if you're going to open your heart again to an individual or a situation, be careful. Seven of Swords tells you to be careful. So, outcome, advice from the universe. If you're going to open your heart again to an individual or a situation, be careful, Virgo, Seven of Swords, because it could, cause bro could bring or cause burdens, Ten of Wands. This is all about self-preservation and 2018 is going to be the year I feel for, of self-preservation for Virgo. All right. No matter how much somebody asks for forgiveness or they ask for something back from you because they feel that something's been resolved, don't give it. This is about becoming hard ass and saying, look, I ain't got no more beef with you. The situation's sorted, but we're not going back there. Because you know that your challenge is that you might want to return to whatever this is. You might want to return after walking away. You might want to return after a brief separation. Eight of Cups can be a brief separation as well. You might want to rush back in after having walked away. And that might be a challenge. You might always go back after having separated yourself from an individual or a situation. But how you remedy that in order to create the type of life you want, Virgo, is by changing direction. Because this is what's going to bring you the balance that you need. We're going to get this reading again, then we're going to quickly... Sorry, it's gone up to an hour. Bloody hell. Ugh. I hate myself sometimes for putting things up to an hour. I do apologise, guys. If you can sit through the reading, great. If not, that's fair enough. You guys, how you achieve the best life that you possibly can in 2018. Well, you guys are looking to, I feel, three of ones, we use the word looking towards. So what are you looking towards, Ten of Swords? You're looking towards healing and recovery. I feel that here you guys are trying to, you're looking forward to healing and recovering or healing a situation with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Because the reason that everything is happening for you in 2018 is that there has been the opening up again of a situation here in which there has now been healed. So a situation that has been reopened has now healed itself. I'm seeing that there's cleansing. I'm seeing something that was opened up again, but there's been forgiveness with the three of swords in the reverse is forgiveness. Okay. So some of you guys, it might be that the, why everything is happening is because you're open to the idea of forgiveness here. So I feel that there was forgiveness in the foundation in a situation. But around that, what you guys experienced in stage two of how you're creating your better life. 
really I should just call this stage one from here I think I will do because I think I'll just use this as the you know and this foundation and then we start how you start creating the better life from the foundation so from the foundation in let's call it stage one we have the eight of wands reverse and the six of cups I feel that as a result of cleansing healing forgiveness you guys are no longer communicating with somebody from the past or you're not communicating with somebody who requires or is requesting something off you. You're staying away from this individual because your goal is to sabotage, to end, to divorce for some of you guys. A king of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody who's very self-serving and didn't have your best interests at heart. Somebody who might have been taking too much money from you. King of pentacles in the reverse might have been quite stingy or even mean with money. And as a result of that, Virgo, your focus for 2018 will not be about will be about not pursuing page of wands in reverse. Anything or any one situation that makes you feel on edge, or makes you feel cautious or makes you feel nervous or situations that you don't trust. Because your challenge has been the Knight of Swords, possibly rushing back into situations which long have outstayed their welcome, the Eight of Cups, or situations that you've walked away from, or rushing back to people who have walked away from you. But in stage two of how you remedy this and how you start creating your better life in 2018 is by moving in the new direction, Knight of Wands. If you want justice, if you want to create balance for yourself, don't go back to the past, move in a new direction. That's the second thing. So first stage to create a better life for yourself is to refrain from communicating with people from the past or uh, communicating with people who are trying to dangle carrots in front of you, especially if there has been forgiveness in the situation. The second stage is how you do this is by moving in a new direction, Knight of Wands, if you want to create balance. Third stage of how you create a better life for yourself is Queen of Wands. Be very self-aware that people can always turn around. Yeah, they might want something from you here, but they can always turn around and shit on you again, especially if they've done it in the past with that Knight of Cups in the reverse. Because what you'd experience coming in is the Four of Swords in the reverse. Restlessness. When somebody rejects you, or when somebody isolates themselves from you. And your hopes are to drop. Possibly a long-term situation with the Hierophant. Possibly a, a self-belief or a certain way of seeing something with this Hierophant. Or a commitment with this Hierophant energy. The overall message for how you create the best life in, for yourself in 2018, Virgo, is... Opening your heart... Or if you're going to open your heart to whoever this is here and whoever this is here and whoever it is that you've forgiven here, be careful, Seven of Swords, because you could find that this situation starts bringing a whole heap of burdens in again. You need to avoid the burden. If you're going to open yourself up again, be careful because you could be creating more burdens for yourself. This reading is telling you to take a new direction. Virgo in 2018 that's how you start creating the better life don't start revisiting old situations because you'll be revisiting pain let's get your advice cards very quickly on this reading okay universe spirit with the angel power tarot cards what is the advice that you have for Virgo on this reading for how they create a better life for themselves in 2018 what is the advice that you have for Virgo show me Six of Ariel, Six of Pentacles. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So that's one way that you're going to create a better life. That's the advice on that one. So this is all about giving and receiving. Yes, there has been forgiveness here, but you don't trust. And the reason that you don't trust is because you, there is a very valid reason. Somebody's behavior made you not trust. And for you, the Six of Pentacles... Is all about getting your, it's not just material needs, it's all sorts of needs. So needs are getting fulfilled in all sorts of magical and unexpected ways in 2018 for you. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. But that's only because you seem to have cut somebody else out here. As soon as you start cutting out the obstacles, the rot, you'll start seeing new blooms coming into fruition. 
let's have a look at what the advice is from the healing with the angels universe spirit what is the advice that you have for virgo angels what is the advice on this reading that you have for virgo and how they create their best life in 2019 it's telling you to focus let's just quickly read that focus card Okay, so think about what you want, not what you don't want. Guard your thoughts carefully because they create your experiences. Focus on what you want, which is why it's saying your challenge is you go back to what you've left or you go back to meet, you, you know, you want to rush back into people that have left you. That's your challenge. Or you want to rush back into situations that you've already walked away from, that you, you've walked away from emotionally a long time ago. Now, there's a reason for that. There's a lack of fulfillment going on with Virgo somewhere along the line. And as a result of that, the second stage of how you create the best life is by leaving those situations, moving in another direction, which will bring justice if you want justice. And that's where focus comes in. Don't focus on what you don't want, because I'm certain that some of you guys, you're even, your goal is to separate from this king of pentacles in the reverse. Whoever this, situa who is, whoever this person is, somebody who's not fulfilling you. In a spiritual sense, in a kind sense, he can be awfully mean in the reverse, all about himself, male or female. So focus on what you want, because if you start focusing back here in your challenge position on this individual, this is what you get. Restlessness, because somebody seems to be isolating themselves from you. Restlessness, because somebody's not communicating or contacting you or acting weird again. You've already really just started recovering. You've accepted things and you've put, you know, you've made your peace in these areas. Leave it at that and focus on moving forward. And the outcome, the last card for um, for advice is getting into the vortex, vortex by Jerry and S for Hicks. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have for Virgo on how they create their best lives in 2018? Show me. Everything is always working out for you. That card came out. That's how you create it. So you need to say the mantra that everything is always working out for you because nothing ever goes wrong. Because every piece of contrast, no matter how wrong it seems to be, is always helping you to clarify what it is you do want. And that, again, it's with this the focus energy. Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. And that is the thing that you, we want you to remember most of all is the contrast, no matter how it looks in any moment, is contributing mightily to your expansion. The things that you call things going wrong in your life experience can are actually only the distance between the things that are so right and your current perspective about them so really what this is saying I feel is the final piece of advice on how you create the life that you want is to accept that whatever it is that's gone wrong in a situation accept that it is all part of the tapestry of where you're going it's all part of the jigsaw puzzle it was meant to be you were meant to learn something from it because it's meant to take you to another direction. I feel how you create your best life is not by going back to the past. Yes, you seem to have made peace with an individual in 2018 or even before that, Virgo. But that doesn't give... This person might have been... You, you know, you seem to be refusing to communicate or not communicating with someone from the past or not communicating with somebody who's asking something from you. And that's where you need to leave it because this is your goal. Separation, love is in the reverse. Divorce for some of you guys from somebody who doesn't have your best intentions at heart. Might be mean, might be stingy, might have been taking stuff from you. You've resolved an issue here and it feels good, so leave it at the resolution stage. You're not bitter. I don't see any bitterness with Virgo in this situation. No bitterness at all. But use the contrast. Use the negativity that you experience maybe in this situation to drive you forward. To allow it to be a lesson to you. Allow it to help you to thrive and help you to move forward in your life in 2018 don't revisit it because the outcome says if you give in if you open to your heart to this person you'll need to be careful seven of swords that they don't bring burdens to your door ten of wands opening your heart eight of cups needs to be avoided seven of swords lest you beget burdens in your life, Ten of Wands. How do you achieve your best life in 2018, Virgo? Let bygones be bygones. Forgive, 
but let go and move forward. That is your reading, guys. Sorry, it's an hour and ten. Jeez, I didn't expect it to be that long. Sorry. I tried to get these readings down, but they're awfully hard to cut down. I'm sorry about that. They are about an hour or so on the actual website if they're ordered, so I do apologise. Anyway, that's your reading for how to achieve your best life in 2018, Virgo. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe, and I will see you on how to achieve the uh, how to how to find sorry true love in 2018 that reading will be for those of you who are either in relationships and want something else want something more true more stable or those of you who are single and looking for absolute true love okay speak to you soon guys take care bye bye